axe. Let's go take a look. The axe in question, the Oxhead 1100B, the Europa, with the 27-ish handle. Let's take a closer look. Let's be kind and talk about why I wanted this axe to begin with. And that's this long, thin, sweeping edge geometry, which I feel like will excel at limbing and probably felling as well. It also has a two and a half pound head or thereabouts, which is a comfortable weight for me for those tasks. Unfortunately, that's about all I can say kind about this axe for an out of the box chopper. Let's get to the bad and the ugly. The sheath. I just took this out of the box and already we've got some problems. And this is not leather. This is some kind of pleather material. And you can see I can remove it without removing the strap. Oxhead, if you're listening, don't bother. So I just showed you that the axe had cut through the sheath in shipping, which must mean that this thing comes wicked sharp. Look, Ma, no gloves. Sharp as the dickens. No. No edge at all. In fact, if you can see that, probably can't, it has about a sixteenth of an inch of square edge on the very apex of the bit. So it doesn't come sharpened. So what? So what? In fact, I think that's probably good on Oxhead. I really don't like when axe companies just take a uh, grinder and grind a rough profile on there, just call it sharp and ship it. Leave it to us. We'll take care of the sharpening. The hang. Garbage. Why? Because this head should be down here. So, before I will even use it, I have to remove not one, but two barrel wedges in order to jump this head down further on the handle, thus losing handle length, which is already in short supply. It is, however, built like a friggin' club. But we're used to that, so no problem. It might be super thick and take me two hours to thin it down, but at least the grain runs out of 45. And it's hickory. Oh, but it's yellow and has a nice sticker. It must be good. And it has pretty yellow paint on this massive palm swell. Thank you, Oxhead. It's also curvier than I would like. In an axe, anyway. All jokes aside, though, I mean, what is this? Seriously, guys. What is this? What is this? What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? I could kill somebody with this part. Not this part, but this part I could kill somebody with. Hey, maybe I'll give it a try. So this is why, despite this beautiful shape here, that I think will actually cut quite well, I have not purchased this axe for such a long time. Because I have to hang my own axe for the price of a pre-hung axe. Does it make sense to you? You're going to have to get these barrel wedges out any way you can, and let's be honest, for those of you who have tried, there's no easy way, especially if you're trying to save the handle. Bring in the big daddy. One down, one to go. Whew. Two. Still aren't home free. Got to try to get this wooden wedge out before we can knock the handle through the eye. All right, after woodpeckering it there for a minute or two, I realized, ridiculously enough, that there's enough meat if I just cut the head entirely off to rehang this. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm impatient. 30 minutes later, and this is what we got. Two barrel wedges that I can probably still reuse. An axe handle that I ended up just cutting off. 
I'll be able to re-kerf that and reuse it because there's so much left to be hung. And a decent axe head. Oh, the sticker's ruined. Was it worth it? You guys be the judge. See you in the woods.